Hi, this is Gary, and welcome to another carefully engineered episode of MacMost Now. Today I thought I'd show you some of my favorite iPhone tips. I find one of the most useful applications is the Maps application. It allows you to get directions on the go. But first you want to set some things up. You want to add some bookmarks to your maps. Take the time to add your home address, your work address, and any other place that you usually go to into the bookmarks. That way when you want to find directions someplace you have your starting point already there and you just have to type in the address of the destination. You don't need to type the apostrophe in contractions. Just go ahead and type the word without the apostrophe and it will automatically be inserted. Like so. When you're sending an email and you're on the go sometimes you get interrupted. All you have to do is hit cancel and you'll be prompted whether or not you want to save the email as a draft. Then you can continue with it later on. At the end of a sentence you can type a period and then space by simply double tapping the space bar. Like so. Not too useful in a search box but very useful when typing out email. Ever wonder how many minutes you have left on your AT&T iPhone plan? All you need to do is go to the settings and then the phone category and look and there's a little option there to actually have AT&T send you via text message how many minutes are remaining. When you want to capitalize something you would normally press the shift key, type the letter, and then continue typing. However you can do this a little bit quicker by doing a slide shift. You press and hold down on the shift key, slide over to the letter you want, and release, and then continue typing. Okay, say you want to use your iPhone on shuffle to play some music while you fall asleep, but you don't want it to sit there and play all night. You can simply use the clock timer function and tell it that when the timer's up, instead of playing a sound, you actually want the iPod functionality to go to sleep on your iPhone. So now you can set it to play music for the next hour and then turn off. You can customize how you want your keyboard to behave a little bit in the settings general keyboard area. One of the things you can do, for instance, is turn caps lock on. This means when you double tap the shift key capital letters stay on. By default it's off. You can also turn on and off capitalization and the aforementioned period space shortcut by double tapping the space bar. Most people know that you can tap the sleep wake button on your iPhone to stop an incoming call from ringing. But did you know if you double tap it it will stop it from ringing and send it directly to voicemail? When you want to see a picture on a web page closer just double tap on it and then we'll enlarge to fill the screen. Double tap again to go back. You can also use the double tap trick with any area that's a div tag in a web page. Div tags are usually these boxes in web pages like this. Just double tap and it enlarges to fill the screen. Double tap again and it will shrink back. Okay, to get a better shot on the camera, here's one thing you can do. Instead of waiting to the last second and pressing the camera take picture button, I press the button and hold down on it and then I just release it when I want to take the picture. I find I get exactly the shot I want this way. When you're scrolling down a long web page and you want to jump right back to the top, you don't have to scroll back. You can just click on the space at the very top of the screen and it jumps to the top again. I find I surf different sites on my iPhone than I do on my desktop. So I created an iPhone bookmark folder. So when I sync Safari between my desktop and my iPhone I have this one folder that just has my iPhone bookmarks. In Safari if you want to see where a link goes you can simply press and hold down the link to see the little pop-up URL. For instance if I hold down on this link and wait a second there I see where exactly where it goes. One last tip. If you really need to reboot your iPhone, all you need to do is hold the sleep wake button and the home button down for a long time, as much as 10 seconds, and it'll do the trick. If you want to just quit the current application, try just holding down the home button for about 5 or 6 seconds, and that might do it for you. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.